Hi guys, this is Damaris. Today I want to share a quick and easy tutorial using a saturated canary digital stamp called Violet Vintage and a few other basic craft tools. What you're going to need is some scissors, you're going to need a tape runner or some glue, you're going to need a paper trimmer, I'm using this one by Fiskars, and you're going to need a one and a half inch circle punch, a one and three quarter inch circle punch, and a two inch scallop punch. First I colored in um, Violet Vintage with Copic markers. You can color um, her in with any medium that you're most comfortable with, even crayons. This would be a fun project to do with your children to give to their teachers. I'm starting out with a card base and this measures three by six. You can find a package of this at Joanne for $3.99 or I think I've, I've seen these at Michael's. So we're starting out with the black card. I've already cut two sheets of paper, designer paper. One I'm using is Echo Parks here and now and I've already cut off this uh, square piece to fit right in front of the card right there and it, the size measures 2 and 5 sixteenths so it's like a little bit short of 3 inches on each side I like to have a little black border on the ends there and I've also cut the same size out of white paper to go on the inside let's glue this down um, I don't want to use my glue because I will be adhering this with liquid glue but I, I will use the tape runner to hold it in place because this is the part where I want to um, make that, that first punch in the middle and you'll see what I mean right now. I'm going to be taking my one and a half inch circle punch bringing it right to the middle here and cutting that right out because this is going to become my window so now I guess I could have glued it but I didn't want the glue to get into the punch that's why I didn't glue it so now we can take our liquid glue make sure that everything's lined up properly we're going to make this uh, scallop to go right in front here now how you do that is using a black piece of paper you first punch out a one and a half inch circle and you just throw that part away and you come back in with your two inch scallop and you go right into that paper right around that uh, initial one and a half inch circle punch and you just punch out that little ring and it creates this cute little scallop Again, I like to use this glue. Helps me stay um, precise when I'm putting it down. But I also cut out these little clouds from the uh, paper collection, and I thought I would put them here on the side to go right behind um, Violet. We will be taking Violet and putting her here, all the way down to the edge of the yellow uh, cardstock there make sure that her hair is not sticking outside of the yellow line there also and put some glue inside we're going to add that white 2 and 5 sixteenths um, base so for the sentiment uh, what I like to do is pop it up so that it sticks out from the card as you can see here it's very dimensional and what I used for that was this punch this punch is by EK success I punched out the word window that looks like this the little speech bubble and I adhered it to this piece of paper here this is a blue wood grain piece of paper from that same collection glued it down and I fussy cut all around that so it looks like this and then 
for the sentiment I was using this you are here stamp by Evalicious so what I did was I taped over that section there I inked it up with the archival ink and stamped it on a piece of cardstock which is the same cardstock I used for this so now I'm going in with my punch let's get some dimensionals my favorite to use are these they're not that thick and um, they come I think they come 100 in a package they're by Stampin' Up. They're my absolute favorite. Now I'm going to position it right over the white speech bubble that's blank. For the inside, I didn't want to leave it white. I wanted there to be a little bit of color. I didn't want too much color. So what I did was I stamped out this stamp on some pattern paper in here. This pink pattern paper here. I stamped it out and then I punched it with a one and a half inch circle punch. Make sure it's centered. I have to face it my way so I could see what I'm doing. Make sure it's nice and centered. Push it down to the inside. I also want to finish off the inside by adding this little ring. And how I do that is, once again, I go to my black paper. Let's move this to the side. I punch a one and a half inch circle. And then I go back in and punch a one and three quarter inch circle right outside of that one and a half inch so that I create a little ring. And I think that's a perfect spot. glue that down right over that circle and this is just like a little guideline if you want to write a little note up top or in the bottom it'll be a guideline to let you know not to write in this pink area because that's the area that's going to show through to the front so I'm going to finish it off by gluing this piece to the top and adding some dash lines because I want the sentiment to pop like here added some dash lines let's glue that in there and you can even turn it sideways to make it look a little quirky like I just did like that and now with a pen you can use any pen or you could use a felt tip pen. I like to use black. The one I'm using is Phantom 0 .07, .7. And I'll just go along the edges of that. And there's your little speech bubble. And there's your little mini note card. It's super cute. I like the fact that it comes with the mini envelopes too. If you don't have this speech bubble, you can also draw it in by hand pencil just draw it in and then make a little a little peak like that you'll probably do a better job than I did <laughs> anyhow I hope you like this tutorial and the links will be below to where you can find violet vintage thanks guys bye